Hey everyone, it's Gapblock again, and today we are going to demonstrate how we access one of the most trending smart contract platforms of Web3 segment, Polygon Network, which is previously known as Matic Network. Initially promoted as Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution, now Polygon is treated as the high-performance and gas-efficient smart contracts hosting platform. Gaplock is among the top tier node API providers for Polygon ecosystem. As such, we are going to demonstrate the process of interaction with Polygon in our next video. To start working with Polygon, let's find this network in a Gaplock dashboard. We need to open the list of nodes, choose shared nodes and search for Polygon or Matic. In this information module, let's copy the URL of Polygon endpoint, the one that starts with HTTPS. At the same time, let's open the Postman terminal, an instrument for API request testing. We need to paste the URL of Polygon endpoint to its address line. Type of request should be changed from GET to POST. In body section, we need to change NONE to ROW type of answer and choose JSON as type of request. Then, we need to create a header for our request. Let's set X API key in the bottom line to utilize our API key identification number. Then we need to find this number. Gapblock issues these numbers to identify the users and their tariff plans. Let's get back to our Gapblock account. In the test box, let's copy the number of API keys and paste it to the terminal's API key field. Then we need to set the body of our request. It has the code we will send to the blockchain. To do so, we need to open the technical documentation of Gaplock's architecture. Main menu, documentation. Let's proceed to the available methods menu and find the documentation for Polygon. In this video, we will experiment with the get transaction by hash command. It can be found as Ethereum get transaction by hash. This command displays the information about a transaction requested by transaction hash. We need to copy the code of request the part that goes after the words data row and paste it to the upper field of our postman request. At the same time, we can use every hash of a Polygon transaction. Let's replace the sample hash by the one from Polygon Network Explorer. You can take every finalized transaction for your experiments. Paste the transaction hash to param string and send the request to Polygon. Nice, we are good to go! The information about the transaction is displayed in the second field of our dashboard. Now let's experiment with another API request method, WebSockets. To try it, we need to cope with the WebSocket endpoint of Polygon. Again, we need to visit the documentation and find the endpoint address that starts with WSS. Let's open the command line and insert the code required to access the Polygon node. As displayed in the demo, we can use WSCAT module and set XAPI key as header. The API key can be extracted similarly to the previous demo. Once we get connected to the network, we can proceed further. We copy the code of request from Postman after slightly modifying it, actually by just deleting spaces. Our request should include four inputs, JSON RPC, method, params, ID. So, as we can see, the result remains the same. With the comment, we restore the wide array of data about the transaction initially knowing only its hash, which is an encrypted, non-human readable form of the information.